Hey there, it's Angela here and welcome to Let's Walk London. Today I am at Spitalfields Market with Canon. Lovely to see you. Lovely to see you. <laughs> so, um, Canon is a YouTuber with a fantastic channel about being a Japanese girl in London. And today we are just having a walk around Spitalfields Market and I'm going to give her a quick history lesson. Now, do you know anything about Spitalfields Market, Canon? Uh, not really because it's actually my first time to visit here. Okay. But I, I know it's one of the you know famous market in London, so I ever heard, I've ever heard that before, but never came here. So I don't know much about it. Well, this is the brand new redeveloped Spitalfields Market. Now I've actually had to write notes for myself <laughs> because there's such a lot of history for Spitalfields Market. But first of all, let's have a look at this public art. Wow! Exactly. <laughs> who is uh, <laughs> going to have a cup of tea. <laughs> it's actually, you know, the liquid's in inside. Yes, because it's been raining. It <laughs> so we have a dog on the head of a male and we have a bunny rabbit head on top of a female in a bikini. Wow. Mm. This is the public art selection and we're kind of going around the end of Spitalfields Market. Mm -hmm. Now, Spitalfields Market, if I refer to my notes, takes its name from the hospital and priory St. Mary's Spital that was founded in 1197. Wow, so it's been here a really long time. Yeah, it's been. And this is an area known for its spirit and a strong sense of community. And so Spitalfields Market is trying to represent that. And in a second, we're going to go down there because this is... Oh, I did. oh, this is weird walking on top of here. <laughs> so underneath here is the old crypt uh, of the old hospital and priory. And we're going to go down there and look at some art. And we're right in the city of London here, which regular viewers of my channel will know is the financial district. And we're sort of, this area actually used to be outside of the city walls. So when there was the Great Fire of London in 1666, um, this was kind of just outside of the area. So here it is, the crypt of the chapel of St. Mary Magdalene. What are these two? Well, I think they stored um, bones. Bones! Um, and this is uh, David Teager Portman choosing the losing side, 2014, the last explorer, 2014. They reflect the history of figurative representation. So this is the old crypt and this is the chapel and charnel house at St. Mary's Spittal. And this area was fields. So it was just outside the city walls and this is actually fields. And now we've got some, um, they sort of look like surfboards, but, they're, yeah, yeah. but they're, they're kind of meant to represent sort of church windows. Canon and I have been here for a while. Yeah. <laughs> and it was rather busy, wasn't it, at lunchtime? Yeah, very busy. <laughs> People are everywhere and we are squeezing yeah. even yep. here, here. Especially yeah. this bit down here, the street food area. Oh my goodness, we couldn't get through we're trying oh. to see what's the food. Is it yeah. Turkish? Is it Japanese? There's people. Now look. It's nice. <laughs> Much better than before. We should have come and eaten now, yeah. shouldn't we? <laughs> So yeah, we came through here one hour ago, didn't we? And it was just yeah. a sea of people mm -hmm. queuing for their... So lots of city workers come here because mm -hmm. we're right next to Bishopsgate and Liverpool Street Station. Mm -hmm. So lots of people come here. And you can see they're actually packing up there, which is incredible. Oh no, is he packing up or is he just hiding up. from the rain? Oh yeah, probably. <laughs> Could be both. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, there's a doggy. Oh. I always find a cute doggy somewhere in my videos. And it's a few raining, yeah. It's so much raining. Yes. And uh, Canon tells me this is definitely Japanese. Yes, Japanese. And it says no gyoza, no life. Oh, is that a famous Japanese expression? I don't think so. <laughs> Probably, you know, the most common saying is no music, no life. But no music, no life, like yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. But yeah, gyoza is, you know, eaten yes. by many Japanese people. So. Right, yes. Yeah. Have you eaten gyoza before? I haven't. I, oh. I'm starting to feel really unadventurous. We had Greek oh. food for our lunch, didn't oh, we? Oh, yeah, we did. 
uh, which I love, but I know Greek food. So, <laughs> so with, that's actually the market in there. Yes. But we're actually going to head down to Brick Lane briefly now uh, to get a little look at what's going on down there. So I'm going to refer to my notes a moment because I haven't given you enough of a history tour, yes, have I? So historically, yep. this area has played host to a transient community, mm. primarily for new immigrants arriving in the country. Wow. So what they're telling me here yep. is that there was a landmark brewery, the Truman's Brewery, that opened in 1669. And if we look ahead, just ahead of us, we can see Truman's. So the Truman's Brewery has actually been here for, long, my maths isn't years. very good, 400 years, something wow. like that. Long, long <laughs> so that's another view, just another view inside there. We're going to be popping in there shortly. So yes, so this long history of people coming to settle in this area, in the 17th century, the uh, people came the Huguenots came. Huguenots. Huguenots came fleeing France mm -hmm. and they brought with them their weeding skills. Mm. And now we're going to see Fournier Street shortly and that's actually sort of grand houses from the French era. Mm -hmm. I think it's sort of a, a slightly special historic interest now. Yeah. Uh, the, these were followed by the um, Irish. So Irish weavers arrived here oh. uh, following the decline in the Irish linen industry. And a lot of them then became construction workers for the London docks. Oh! Mm, Cannon's learning a lot today. Yes, learning lot. something new. Absolutely. <laughs> Come across. Yes, we can. Try not to get run over. Yeah. Bike change, run. <laughs> right. <laughs> so we're just going to go down here. So, yes, yeah, so we've had the Huguenots, we've had the Irish, and then a massive Jewish community came from Eastern Europe. Uh, escaping harsh conditions mm -hmm. in Russia and also coming from the Netherlands. Netherlands! <gasps> oh look, we have Poppy's fish and chips. A lot of people go in there for their fish and chips. Is it chips. famous? Place? I don't know if it's famous, but I know a lot of people seem to want to queue and have fish and chips in there. So this place must be really famous, I think. Must be yeah, well popular. known, must not it? Yeah, it was very popular earlier. And there, there is Truman's Black Eagle Brewery. So as I said, 400 years old, that brewery. Wow. key to the area. Yes, and from the 1880s to the 1970s, mm -hmm. Spitalfields was overwhelmingly Jewish, probably one of the largest Jewish communities in Europe, with over 40 synagogues. Yeah. Um, then they moved on, and by the 1970s, mm -hmm. as many people will know, a thriving Bangladeshi community mm -hmm. uh, set up here, and we're just heading towards Brick Lane at the moment, which is... Uh, the well-known Brick Lane, where there's so many restaurants and uh, there's Brick Lane Market and things like that that we're going That's to go and see. Mm. So now, Canon, yeah. you're a, a visitor to London. So you live in London, London now. Yes, I do. <laughs> and tell us, um, if you were uh, advising visitors to come to London, what would be the top one, two or three places that you think they should visit in London? The, probably the best part, I would say, is South London because it's quite beautiful. And they, uh, I think most of the Japanese people think South Long London is like a London bridge. Yes, because they're right next to each yeah, other, aren't right they? Next to yeah, each other. yeah. But I tell you, the place where I don't recommend you guys don't to, not to go is London Bridge because <laughs> <laughs> London Bridge is just. London Bridge. I know one of the very famous songs about the London Bridge. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. That's right. Yes. But I tell you, you know... Oh, and London's Burning is yeah. right next to it as well. Yeah. It sounds quite fancy, but once you go there, London Bridge is just like a bridge, like yes. any other places. So. I think it's quite a boring bridge, uh, London yeah, Bridge. But I think um, some people get quite confused because oh. they think London Bridge and Tower Bridge are the yeah, same yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, I, did, I, did, well, I wanted to go, uh, sorry, I wanted to say is London, Tower London, and then yeah. London Bridge, sorry. And London? Yes, sorry, I'm going to. Tower Bridge, Tower Bridge, Tower yeah. Bridge. I'm just going to have a look at this picture on the wall here. So we've just crossed Brick Lane and we're actually going to head back this way towards the city now. Um, oh. Back towards Spitalfields Market. So it's so funny that you should say that, that people kind of 
think, oh, London Bridge is going to be great. It's like, it's just a bridge, yeah. you know? I think it's the A3, actually. Oh. I think down there is Brick Lane Market. We're great. But we're going to head this way now. Yeah, the other one, yeah. Without getting run over, we will cross the road. <clears throat> Hopefully not get run over. But, um, yes, yeah, so don't make the mistake of going to London yeah. Bridge. But do see the Tower of London and Tower of Bridge. I like the Tower of London and Tower of Bridge. Yes, I think they're really yes. nice. Very um, anything else you'd recommend for visitors to London? Probably, I would say the Sky Garden because ah, the Sky Garden. You can yes. go there for free, and almost yeah. all places in London is they charge us like yes. more than twenty yes. pounds or something. It's yeah. quite expensive. Yeah. For example, if you go there, the other one of the highest building in yes. Europe, which yes. is called. Chard. The chard, the chard, yes. Yeah. Oh my goodness, but it's quite a lot to yes. go up and down, isn't it? Yeah, and the chard, they charge us like more than like a thirty pounds or something. Yes, only absolutely. Going. Yeah, and if you want to eat in the restaurant or something yeah. and all that kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although I would recognise, uh, not recognise, I would recommend. Yeah. If you want to go to the chard yeah. and you're not too bothered about going right to the top. Yeah. There's a restaurant about halfway up, oh. and we had a brunch there, and that was actually really nice. And they got amazing toilets. Oh. <laughs> really nice toilets oh. in there. <laughs> so yeah, probably you know. Instead of going up by, you know, by, you know, at the side of seeing, yes. we, we, we can just go there for Absolutely. lunch, yeah. for dinner. Have a brunch. But yeah. I do agree, Sky Gardens, I think, are brilliant. Yes. By the we way, we're at see... Brick Lane Mosque now. Oh. All the way up. And we're turning into Fournier Street. Now, as I said, this is a historical area mm -hmm. because the French settlers here mm -hmm. um, came here, brought their weaving skills with them. Mm -hmm. And now it's, um, I've forgotten the name, there's a company now that's based here, uh, which I can't find on my list. <laughs> it's a really nice, uh, it's a really nice company that's based here, if only I was knowledgeable about places in London. So yes, this is a, as I said, very historical street. Mm -hmm. And you can kind of see all the sort of houses have been preserved. And uh, it's a very sort of old London style, very, very old London style, I actually. I how they how old they are yes i mean if it was um according to my notes the huguenots came in the 17th century surely they're not are they really that old these houses yeah well, like 300 years yeah are well, these houses 300 oh, years old <laughs> wow. yeah so place. i wouldn't like to try and park a car here though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not owning a car so much if you live here <laughs> yes wow. So yes, so top of your list would be Tower Bridge, Tower of London, and then second would be Sky Gardens, which actually isn't very far away. You can mm. actually walk yeah. uh, from, because it's in that building called the Walkie Talkie. It's in the building called the Walkie Talkie, I think, uh, Sky Gardens. And I've been up there and I really love it. I think it's amazing views. Mm. And as you say, it's free as well. Mm -hmm. So really nice place to go. Right, now this is the church in some ways started it all off because this wasn't um, this wasn't an official area of London mm -hmm. until this church was consecrated um, as I believe the expression is mm -hmm. Just go around wow. the I love the fact that there's an ancient sign on the side over there and it says commit no nuisance oh. which is really like old English style expression <laughs> And as you can see right ahead in the distance, you can see the City of London building. So that's Bishopsgate and Liverpool Street just over there. And so if you look up there, right on the top of the building, it says Spitalfields Market. Yay! Uh, rebuilt by Robert Horner. Is that Robert Horner? And I, my understanding is that he took out a loan for £80,000 uh, to completely rebuild the place. I think he'd been a market porter and it had fallen into sort of disrepair during the Victorian era. Of course a lot. So yeah, I mean that was a lot of money at the yeah, time, yeah, you know. Yeah. Uh, so he completely rebuilt it. Mm. So this is what, what it is? Yes, this is the bottom end of Spitalfield Market now. Uh, so let's have a front view of the church. Christ Church Spitalfields was not official until that happened. Right, let's uh, ooh, go against the red light. Naughty <laughs> us. And yes. over we go. No one is crossing the road. And here we are now entering Spitalfields Market. Yay! Here we go. 
Now we seem to be at the top ends because we've got Chanel, we've got Mac. What on earth is Mudflip? This is the place what I was ah. talking about. This is for the bubble tea place. This is the bubble. Shall we get some bubble tea? May I? I think, I think bubble so tea. So that I can show together. You yes, know? I think that would be a good idea. That would be a good idea. Right. Uh, okay, so. Uh, you're you're the expert. Yes. So. Um, so, may I get a fresh milk tea? Large? With, with the black pork, please. Yes. Right. So we're going to wait for our tea. Yay! So we got one. 94. 94. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Cannon is going to wait. <laughs> and I'm going to go have a wander for you in a sec. So there's Chanel. As I said, are we at the posh end of the market here? I don't know what duck and dry are. Ooh, hairdressers. So we've got jewellery here. Oh my goodness, they're gorgeous. Bracelets, £20. £20 for bracelets. What have we got here? Vanilla Blanc. Are you room diffusers? Is that right? Is that what it's called? Room diffusers? Okay. And how much is one of these? So online they usually sell for £35, but in yep. the market here they're £25. £25. £25. Okay, quite nice actually. So we've got some Turkish food here. So we're at one of the eating areas. We've got the Pleasant Lady, which had quite a queue earlier. Flank, they very meaty food there. Now we've got some lovely looking cakes. It's all a bit quieter now. Oh my goodness, those cakes look incredible. Mm, rock cake, £2.80. I do love a rock cake. Blueberry muffins, £2.50. And we've got cute little baby clothes here. You can see that the tables have emptied out now. Monty's Deli, I wonder what they sell in Monty's Deli. Deli food, I imagine. Right, I'm just gonna go back down to Canning, so I've left the poor little girl getting our drink. So she wanted me to try a new drink from Yifang. Got some nice hats here. Look a bit like something out of Peaky Blinders. If anyone's watched the TV series, Peaky Blinders. There she is! Wow, that was fast! Right. Yes. Let's see, so what have we got in here? Wow, I see beans, this is... You will love this. So what am I looking at here? There we go. Is this a bubble tea? Bubble tea. Bubble it tea. Bubble tea. It's the big thing in London. It is, now it's quite popular, in, yeah. especially for the Asian people, but, uh. <laughs> but people you know, from the monitor, they yeah. will, you know, it's this quite looks good. This looks good. Shall I hold it so you can open a straw? Oh, because we have... Two of them, so <laughs> first I want you to try, so I'm going yes. to hold the camera. Oh, thank you, thank you. So, no right. Do we have the black bubble tea then? <laughs> oh, that is really nice. What are those bubbly things? Bubble tea. Mm. So we stab the straw like this. Like really bang it in. Yeah, mm -hmm. bang it in. Mm. Then we drink this. Perhaps I should have had a lesson first. <laughs> It's good, isn't it? Well, I mean, you tell me, but I think it's really good. Hmm, <laughs> that is delicious. Okay, let's walk the market with bubble tea. Mm. Can't concentrate on my bits of paper now that I've enjoyed my bubble tea so much. <laughs> now we've definitely got some food places through here. So we've got a juice bar. Ethiopian food, fabulous. Wow. Look at that Ethiopian, that looks good. Looks really fresh, doesn't it? And is it vegan? And um, vegan as well, vegan as well. Let's go through here. Here we go. Oh, I'll have a bit more, thank you. I can hold you. Okay. Okay. Mm. It's good, right? Mm. Which way are we going? going this way. Okay. No, we've got some cute little animals here. Oh. Adorable. I like the clubs one. Hi. <laughs> oh, here it is. Mm. getting into clothing, jewelry, that type of thing. Oh, look, is this wow. a Christmas? Oh, what, what is this little thing? Do you know I what don't it is? Know. Am I allowed to say that's kind of ugly? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, true. 
I am. I'm a vlog lover. <laughs> a cameraman. Right, so we have some clothing here. Sud Italia pizza Napolitana. Mm. There you are. So you got a margarita pizza here, six pounds. Marinara, five pounds. Cheaper if it's marinara. Mm -hmm. oh, those bubbles just stick around, don't they? <laughs> mm. The market tavern. The gross said market tavern. I like that. Fancy. Mm. Oh. oh, they were doing orange juggling here earlier, weren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're trying to sell us the Pixel 4 phone. <laughs> so they were juggling oranges. I'm not quite sure what the connection was, personally. <laughs> Some more clothes here. Ah, uh, looks like you know you're in London. Yeah, so now you're bubble free. Yeah, now. In the math department. Yes. So, um, so yes, is there anything you'd you'd say avoid if you come to London as a visitor? Uh, okay, visitors. Or anything that disappointed you? People say, oh, you've got to go there, and it's like, oh, it was okay, like London Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Though nobody really says go to London Bridge, so. Okay. Um... You know what? What was the f interesting thing is I really cannot think of any ideas coming oh, up isn't she to the mind. Isn't she sweet? Yeah. Because like everywhere I, um, wherever I think, hmm. it was quite fun, and yeah. they, uh, I really don't feel you know get any disappointed. In Fantastic. Time, so. so yeah, I really don't find in Japan it's common to. Uh, so when you ride it on the bus, yes, we pay by cash. Yes. Yes. But here, not in London. Not in London, but the rest of the country, you can still pay cash. Oh, yeah. So my mother, if she were to come to London, she yeah. wouldn't know what to do. Oh. Uh, because we're sort of saying you have to get your Oyster yeah, card. Yeah, Oyster card, yes. And uh, I think for foreign sort of visitors, or actually you don't have to be from overseas, mm -hmm. just from anywhere that's not London, mm -hmm. then I think it's quite difficult that you have to get an Oyster card. Because you, you actually literally can't get on a bus if you don't have an Oyster yeah. card. And it's and like, you, you oh. need to go to the station park. Yeah, and exactly. So you have to sort of organise yourself yeah, and yeah. Uh, make sure you have one. Oh. Now, over here, I believe we have a chap called Richard. Oh, hey! <laughs> Homeless, you might have to film oh, me selling one. They're ten pounds ninety-nine here, and uh, my. I'm in the June issue and uh, I'll sign it for you. Which one is you asked? That's me. Mm. They're in September. She already bought yeah. one. Okay. <laughs> I bought one, yes. Yeah. <laughs> one for my desk. We've got one in Budapest, we've got one in Sao Paulo, um, we've got one in, um, what is it? Um, New Orleans. Just take it to Skin. Okay, well, you can I'll take what you can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you like. But take one of those, it's got my, uh, got my details on the back. Okay, All right, darling. Okay. So, what you... so, how's business been today, Richard? Um, steady. Steady. Uh, I was uh, selling in the, uh, just around the corner yesterday. Yeah. Um, we did virtually the same. Uh, there's not been as many people along here today, but mm. we've still managed to sell quite a few. I sold 11 today in about six hours. Oh, okay. Is that, is that good? The, the okay. best I've ever done is uh, best I've ever done is 85. Wow! Five. But this was Christmas. Oh, Christmas, okay. January, where yeah. you could literally um, yeah. pluck them out of the air. Uh, so, Amazing. But, oh, usually October's a little bit of a, of, you know, mm. a tough time. Well, yeah, but people I'm, aren't quite buying for Christmas yet, are yeah, they? No. Not quite out of summer, I don't think. But I come out, I come out three times a week, mm. even in September, October, and yeah. summers. Yeah. Um, so I, I sold 1,500 last year. Mm. Um, I was a top salesman last year, the year before, and the year before. I that. think, were you a salesman before? I, in your, I was in a your telly former life, telly for salesman. Several years in the 80s. Okay, all oh, right, okay. And then yeah. I, I came to London, I've, I've, I've been on the streets of Britain about. Um, 15 years in different cities, including Perpignan in France. Wow. I came to London four years ago, and within three months I found out about this cafe art through mm. a drunken Scotsman in a, in a yeah. KFC in Holborn. He wrote out the uh, the address for me. Yeah. He saw one of my drawings, he, he gave me the, the uh, website address. I contacted them, and within uh, three months 
I, I got in with my first first attempt uh, 2017 March 2017. It's a photograph called Drivers Wanted. It's available. You can see it all on the website, mm. and uh, they're all for sale. Every single thing, photograph, and uh, so I, I started selling it from that time and became one of the top sellers that yeah. year. Mm. And I've been selling it every year. Still on the streets, but. If you read my, my photograph from uh, June 2020, mm. you'll find out what I'm doing for this year, next year, and I okay. plans of just because uh, I've had enough of being home. So really, of course, happy, well, it's not something you would deserve better than yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, so, but, so do you, where do you sleep at night? I, uh, well, I sleep on a bench in St Pancras Station at the, at the train station. Right. Okay. Um, but I sit there with my drawings. I do a yeah. lot of drawings, pen and ink drawings. Yeah. The security know me, so they don't yeah. Like, hassle me. Yeah. So it's it's I don't want to be out on the street really outside because it's. Uh, what they do is I can imagine. I and can it's imagine. cold as well. Yes. I, I've been in w winter shelters before yeah. from December through to Feb March. But this year I'm not a priority. Last year I wasn't a priority. Okay. So how do you get deprioritized? Uh, I get deprioritized by the fact that I've been here so long and there's a big influx of people from all over the place who've not been to London before. Yeah. And once they get onto the system there right. they get the priority. Yeah. So, so how do you sad. how do you eat and drink daily? How's my? How do you eat and drink daily? Uh, about three times a, a day, I go to certain um, uh, places, uh, certain um, food food runs. Right. Okay. Including on an evening, I'm going yeah. to one after this okay. in, in various parts of London, yeah. mainly Islington, Holborn, Camden. Right. Uh, and I get showers. I get um, things like food, um, clothes. Yeah. Uh, so I do okay, and yeah. I know a lot of people, who, I've got a lot of friends who do the same. Yeah. But it's not all of them who come out of self, is it? No. Uh, but I'm not an addict, I don't drink, smoke, I don't no. take drugs. No. I'm careful with the money, so I'm, I'm trying to improve my You're life. extremely brave, basically, yeah. in this and life. Yeah, this, 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 uh, can selling this camel has really helped change my life. Yeah. Uh, but I, I was lucky, but I think I probably deserved a little bit of luck when I got here. Mm. Um, I'm a creative, creative person. And uh, this is this helps me out a lot. I really do like selling this calendar. I don't know whether to sell it. I walk from Kings Cross to Spitfields and back okay. three yeah. times a, a week at right. the moment. Yeah. When I'm selling it in uh, just before Christmas, it's six yeah. times a week. Wow! So and I'm, and I'm 60 next year. I'm 60 in February. So oh. yeah. So I think I'm physically fit. And yeah. I'm mentally alert. And uh, hopefully next year will be a better year. Mm. This year's been a good year, though. Yeah. Mm, thank you. Well, we really wish you the best because you know, it's an, you know, I really want you to do well you because much. it's you, uh, you know, we don't, you know, we don't want to see you, you no know, well, planning I mean, your I, next. I don't wish to be in the same situation as no, I was. No, of course not. No. Fifteen years ago, five yeah. years ago, two years ago. Yeah. But I, I'm um, starting to do things for myself and things mm. are starting to happen. Yeah. And if you read about it, you'll yeah. find out. So. Um, yeah, I'm saying positive. Yeah. And when you're positive, positive things happen to you. Yeah, you, you, you can attract you, your own luck. You come across as very positive. I believe that. Yeah. I believe there's some yeah. sort of cosmic principle going on. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, you know, you can you can make your own good fortune, and yeah. I have recently, the last few years, no. things have changed for me. No. Yeah, you, you know, you, yeah, you give off a very positive energy, so um, oh, so <laughs> very <laughs> calm as well. Yeah. Uh, well, outwardly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not inwardly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I mean, it's amazing. It's, it really is amazing. Thank you. Experience. Thanks, Wendy. So. And, yes. You're welcome. It's You're the welcome. least I can do. It's the least right. I can okay. do. You know. <laughs> so, yeah, it's still on. But I, yes, I will let you get back to selling. Thank I hope you. so. Okay. Okay, so thank okay, you. It I'm was so nice go. to see you. Oh, thank you so much, Cameron. It was really lovely. I really yeah. enjoyed it. So. And, you, and you too. Thank you, Angela. Bye. Okay, so we've said goodbye to Cannon now. She's still going to interview Richard um, about his experiences of homelessness and efforts to uh, help um, pull people out of the homelessness trap. I am going to finish up this walk because I actually have to go now and they are telling me there are problems at Waterloo Station. So will I get my train home? I do hope so. Let's just do a little 
chuck to camera to say goodbye. Hey there, well I do hope you enjoyed that walk through Spitalfields Market with Canon. I will see you next time. Bye bye.